Now north, north to North Carolina, where 100 days out, things are looking worse and worse in the Trump re-election effort. Earlier this month, ACNBC, uh, a, uh, NBS, NBC poll found President Trump behind in the same six crucial swing states he won back in 2016. And while former Vice President Joe Biden's North Carolina lead is within the margin of error, it still represents a major swing as Trump carried the states by nearly four points in 2016. And Biden's surge is unexpected uh, in many places. It raised some interesting possibilities for down-ballot candidates. Joining me now is one such candidate, Yvonne Lewis Holly, who is running to be Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. Uh, Ms. Holly, thank you for being with us. And let me start right there. With the state of North Carolina in polls showing that Joe Biden could possibly win North Carolina, a state that Trump carried by four points in 2016. One, do you feel as you campaign around the state for lieutenant governor that these polls are right, that there's been some switch around uh, uh, in terms of the voting of, of uh, North Carolinians? And second, will this help you as the candidate, Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor? Well, thank you, Reverend Al, for letting me be on today. And yes, I do see a change and a way. North Carolina is a purple state, and it's always been purple. It always has voted its hope and its fear, historically. Uh, we're the state where, at some point, we had Jesse Helms as a senator. At the same time, we had Terry Sanford. We've had Republican governors and Democratic lieutenant governors. We currently have a Democratic governor and a Republican lieutenant governor. Uh, and as I go around the state now, the people who have aligned themselves to Trump and that divisive fear mongering seems to be uh, more prevalent now than ever. And it's just gonna be very distinctive difference in the selection for this race and yeah. all of the races in North now, you mentioned uh, the difference in the current governor being Democrat, lieutenant governor, Republican. The lieutenant governor is a Republican who is suing the Democratic governor over the coronavirus restrictions. He's also running for governor. If you end up with a split ticket again, would you be able to work with a Republican? Uh, I have had a history of working across the aisle in the North Carolina General Assembly in my past eight years. I will work with anybody. But I don't need permission to do some positive things in North Carolina. And if elected as a lieutenant governor, even in a Republican governorship, I will work very hard to implement as many changes and to help the people of North Carolina that I can. There's many of us that are concerned about people trying to steal the election and suppress uh, voters, particularly in the black community. What uh, do you say about that and what measures are being put to protect the voters in North Carolina as you seek their votes and their turnout? Well, there's a major effort to get out to vote, to do mail-in ballots where we can, to protect our people who choose to go to early voting and to the polls to vote. And we want to do it with integrity, and we're taking it across the state, and we're working very hard to get the word out how to do it so your ballot doesn't get thrown out, how to do it so that you can go down there and you will be safe in voting in the state of North Carolina. Uh, a lot of people are pushing early voting to go down there when it's not as crowded and given that opportunity to really cast their ballots for uh, in this process. You mentioned Jesse Helms. It would be somewhat uh, a, a real message as we talk about uh, the, ra the rise of black women in politics, many of us even hoping to see a black woman on the national ticket, to see in the state of Jesse Helms a black woman as lieutenant governor, uh, that would be one way of uh, realizing a lot of the efforts of John Lewis and C.T. Vivian. Yes, now I'd like to say that C.T. Vivian spent a time here in Raleigh at Shaw University. I knew him growing up uh, for a while while he was there, and we all know and love John Lewis, 
and uh, I carry that legacy. I want to carry it on and work very hard for the state of North Carolina and electing an African-American female lieutenant governor will do so much more for North Carolina and the future of this state. Yvonne Lewis, Yvonne Lewis Holly, thank you very much for being with us. Make sure you catch Jonathan Capehart's interview tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern.